because you're not a baby anymore. Oh. You're a big girl. Yeah. Are you going to get your hair nice and clean for school? Yeah. Why do you have tape? Because everything has to be labeled. Why do you have tape? Because look, I put your name in your lunchbox. Oh. Uma Dirt. Where are we going today? School! I get boots! And to get boots! A nice tight. Let me see. Almost done. Almost done? Almost done? Yep, just gotta kinda stretch it out a little bit, make it look nice and fluffy and big. There we go! Cheese! Tell them what today is. How should I get boots? Yeah? I no sandals. Boots are outside and playing the flowers. Are you feeling excited? Yeah. Me like a little pony. This one's falling out. It's a falling out. No, it doesn't loose. It's not loose. I did it nice and tight. So, I like it a, a <laughs> pony. Is it too heavy? Yeah. There's not much in there. No, it's too so heavy. There was a stuff in one spot. A little bit heavy. She's a me go in the shoe. Did someone just pull out her nice braid? I don't like a pony though. <laughs> no make a braid. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Ma, you have so many. <laughs> We're officially behind. Uma's not new. She used to doing anything she's told. So I'm glad Uma's not obedient. But sometimes I wish she was. <laughs> You wish that about me too. Yeah. Too tight. Too tight. You just know when the braid <laughs> wasn't just, tight enough. You just said you that said you, you want it very tight. You don't want it to come out. Or I'll do it less tight. A low one? Can I do a high one? No. Okay. I'm gonna do There we go. Like what do you mean? There uh, we go. Oh, we uh, gotta get going. We have to go. We're late. Come on. We gotta come on. go. Okay, we'll do a bun in just a second. Radio and podcasts. All it's in. the All Ladies Lunch on 97.7 The Brew. She woke up. She wanted to know if this is the beat boot store. This is not the boot store, so we had to put down some kind of deposit for earnest money, which I don't totally get how this works, but... They wanted money for us to buy our yeah. house. Yeah, you can't wear sandals because it's going to be all muddy in the forest. We got to get it just yeah. a nice, classic pair of boots. Oh, I like it tighter. Okay, I'll tighten it. I'll tighten it. What, we do re-tighten it from over. re tight. But last time it was tight, you said it was too tight. Nice and tight, but not too tight. I don't want to be tight. I did make it. Isn't it really tight? I did, here, I'll do one more. Here, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Are you feeling nervous at school? <sighs> so we just dropped off Uma a little bit ago, and we meant to film more, but the whole thing was just like... <laughs> way more stressful than we had anticipated. I think all of us were very nervous to do 
like real human civilized things. I do not know how parents with like multiple children and multiple schools and multiple paperwork. We got paperwork that was sent to us. It was like, you didn't fill this out. It needs to be filled out by 4 p.m. I don't have a printer. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> and then today, like I had to redo Uma's hair like five times because it was not tight enough and she was scared it was gonna fall out while she was at school and like I stopped filming actually after they let in to go get boots it was supposed to be a special little sweet moment but she wanted all the pretty things right I need pretty dresses for school we need to buy one right now and I was like Uma we are like in the time crunch like we have to get these boots but I like let her try on a bunch of stuff and then it was like a moment and then she's like I don't want to go to school I want to go back to bed at the cabin and she was crying so I think that we are all just kind of <sighs> Anyone that's a parent or has been around children gets it But like you almost just like shut down because Ellie and I, I find that like we're so chatty and we want to talk like this all the time But when you do she starts getting really energetic and then everything feels really freaking manic So we just were like this the whole time and it was not what we anticipated but I think we were nervous because as you know in a lot of previous videos we've been huge advocates for homeschooling and unschooling and wild schooling I'm going to link those videos right here if you want to check those out and I think we still very much are in alignment with unschooling and this is probably the closest we'll get to like a traditional school but it is a wild it is wild schooling it's like it's a like, co-op it's in a barn it's in a barn, there's a greenhouse, it's mostly outside. Once we got there, once Uma got to scope it out and she knew where her backpack was gonna go and she met her teacher, she just like looked at us and said, bye. <laughs> she gave us a hug. She gave, and then I was like, give us a hug and she gave us a big hug, but then she just like ran off. So I think she's gonna do great. And like, we really do still plan on doing unschooling. Like the idea of sending her to a conventional school, like, no, thank you. Like bless teachers are trying their best, but like, the system is so out of alignment for what we want for our children. But for us, this gives Uma time to have undivided attention with other children besides like the families that we know. And more than anything, it gives us a couple hours each day to devote to like working, whether it's like online stuff or on our homestead. So it's just gonna be really good for all of us to have this little bit of separation. So when we come back together, it can really be meaningful time. Even just now getting these like 30 minutes that she's been without us, it just feels like we just do charge each other up. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> Here we are in the world alone. <laughs> It truly is so wild. After we, you guys, we have lived with our toddler human child. So toddler human child. I love that you're always like human like or like <laughs> she is a human. For a year now, in a tent and then a van. Woo! And here we are alone. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so all excited. I want is like it just is gonna be so nice even if we just like go on a walk for three hours just that so we have this time together it's gonna make it when we're together feel like all that much more meaningful and it's so cool that we found something that feels so in alignment well, with our I will values say that was like a huge indicator of like there are beautiful places all over in North Carolina Western North Carolina and there were a lot cheaper houses and options but this particular area we felt connected to because of its community and how important that is when raising a child and raising a family and so there are so many different school options they've got Montessori, Waldorf, outdoor schools, out, you know all this. And, and more than anything you meet so many parents just that homeschool or unschool their children here like our mm -hmm. co-ops where they gather together it's just like very 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 common here so that's really exciting that we can explore these alternatives and have community support while doing so but more than anything right now I just feel free I do too. But I kind of already miss Uma. I need to hear every detail from her. I know, because she's the thing is is that we've all been experiencing things together. So like now she'll have to describe things that happen while we're not there. I know. But do you want to tell them where we're going? Oh yeah, we are. Look at this drive by the way. This is we're just going our, home. This is our drive to our new house from Uma's school. We're doing a little test drive and mostly we want to go 
take a look at it. We're so. just obsessed with our house. Literally, we cannot stop thinking about it, dreaming about it. Oh, we have just we just cannot wait to get in there. Of course, if the inspection works out okay. But we are driving to it right now just to go look at it and to practice our drive and be like, oh, this is going to be our drive. This is our home. This is our life now. And I just love this particular area. I am so grateful that we're in this spot. Uh, look at our drive. Whoa. Okay, take a left. Oh, Look at these Geodesic domes, they're so cool. Hey, what are you doing right now? I'm looking at our house. Our goats are gonna have goat neighbors, we're just realizing. There's a bunch of goats in that field. Yeah, there's just like a pasture right next to us before the forest and... I wanna own this pasture too. <laughs> I wanna own the planet. <laughs> So it's the weekend. We kind of got caught up in the blur of the week and stopped filming. The last couple days, Matt has taken Uma and given me the full day to work on stuff at the cabin. Right now we have like an hour and 15 minute drive to Uma school and back. Once we move down there, it's only gonna be like 20 minutes, but it's definitely making for long days right now. It's been nice for me to give that to Elliot because they've got to spend time apprenticing with Liv and Alex and learning about herbalism. And then they also, I'll do a little plug for you, mm. Elliot is officially beginning their photography business. We'll include a link to their website that you've been working on nonstop while you've been at home. Yes. That's been really exciting. Another exciting thing is that, I don't know if you can feel it through the camera lens, but it finally feels like fall I've whipped out the infamous sweater <laughs> yeah and like this really shouldn't be a complaint but it's felt like we've had like a nine month summer because of we were chasing the sun and the, the good weather and I have been craving fall so badly and now it's officially here and I just feel like these mountains are gonna be so gorgeous and as we like begin homesteading life and begin a little bit more rituals like it's a cozy weekend and it's fall and I just like love it so much yeah I think we've definitely been in a season of life that is really Really, like outward and lots of movement and lots of like evolution and change and I think we're both craving a season of like rest and settling in. Did you get shots of Uma after school? Oh yeah. Also, so, yep, go ahead. I did on the last day of this week get a couple shots of Uma. Let's insert these right here. You ready to go home? Should you, you want to take us over the bridge? Show me the way over the bridge. Let's go. You're getting comfortable with this space, aren't you? Hey, now show me where we go. Lead the way. Let's go. Where are you going? She has been having so much fun. She's made two friends that she's told us all about. When we picked her up on the first time, she didn't really want to talk that much. I think she was really exhausted. You want to tell them how was school today? Cool girl, <laughs> you don't know, just give me a little shoulder shrug. <laughs> yeah, she was like, stop asking me questions. <laughs> and I respected that, I was like, good for you girl, you just spend this time quietly processing. All in all, I think we feel really good. I know we shared earlier in the video some hesitations about any type of thing that's called school. I would definitely put quotes around this because it isn't school. But if you do have any questions or comments or suggestions or tips when it comes to like, unschooling or wild schooling we'd love to see those in the comment section so if you're interested in any of these topics i'm actually going to link two videos that are very related they should be below our heads right now and yeah we i cannot state it enough i'm so grateful to be back here every week this just feels fun and exciting and i feel connected to you and we appreciate you and love you yes happy september you guys see you next week see you next sunday good yeah what do you think? Yeah.